He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I am currently watching Seduced, Inside the Nixium Cult. Now, this is a four-part documentary series which is now streaming on Stars. Now, only the first two episodes have dropped. They drop every Sunday night. So I am guessing most of you are here watching this because you saw The Vow on HBO and for some ungodly reason, you have decided to watch more because nine hours of this drawn out show The Vow wasn't enough for you. Now this series really caught my attention with the involvement with India Oxenberg who is heavily, heavily featured in The Vow. Her mother, Catherine Oxenberg, is also a very strong driving force in The Vow, which kind of carries over into Seduced. Now, India was not a part of the vow for a specific reason. She did, wanted to have no involvement with it. I'm not really sure the, the exact reasoning, but I'm assuming it has something to do with wanting to cash in on herself and have her own series. Also, I think there's a little bit of weird blood between her and Mark Vicente. So the vow really set up India to have a big platform for her series. Now, this, like I said, follows India Oxenberg and her involvement in interactions with Keith Raniere and Nixium, the self-help sex cult. Seduced jumps right in. They waste no time. Literally, the first episode is probably equivalent to three episodes of The Vow. They cut a lot of the fat off, and I'm really impressed that they're able to tell so much story just from this one cult. I mean, this just keeps going and going. This series is exceptionally educational because they have cult experts explaining exactly what is going on. They will show a clip of Keith Raniere speaking, or they, they're talking about a concept with Nixium, and then they will flash to this talking head of a cult expert explaining exactly why he's doing this, the, the area of control, like, it just, it, it's very educational and I find it really fascinating, something The Vow didn't really dive into, so at least it's also different in that aspect. I am just still shocked by how many people fell for this shit. It was just such, such a ton of bullshit and on the outside looking in, I know it's easy to say that and what we know now, but you have to look at the grandmother who, uh, her name is uh, Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia, Catherine's mother, India's grandmother. She was at a meeting, you can watch this series and find out what, what that was all about, but she basically knew that this was a bunch of bullshit from day one and she was able to call it out. So just shocking how many people got sucked up into this cult. This series is really painting a bad picture for Mark Vicente. He does not look as good as he does in The Vow. But he, he looks like basically Keith Raniere's secondhand man who is a root of a lot of these problems and you can tell that India has some feelings towards him that are not all good. They also go into the Broffman sisters and Nancy and really dive into their backstories as well. I'm very pleased that I'm not seeing a lot of overlapping story or footage, which is something I was worried about that this was gonna be basically the vow part two, but it's not, it stands alone, it's its own thing. Moving on to India herself. What is wrong with this girl? She still seems like she's in this cult, not by her actions, but by the way she is speaking. She is like a freaking zombie. She is monotone, lifeless. I'm like, I just wanna shake her and be like, what is wrong with you girl? Show some some sort of feeling or heart. She has nothing going on. And I think it has something to do with the fact that she's trying to say specific words and phrases and she's trying to get them across, but it's coming off really poorly. I don't know if she's reading cue cards or what, but there's a moment in episode two where she breaks down and you can hear her in her real voice and you can hear her speaking, coming from her heart, telling her story. And then the next scene is her reading cue cards again or something because she is like, a zombie and very unnatural and it's coming off really odd and I'm just hoping it has something to do with the fact that she's she's reciting a story that's in her head that she has memorized. She's just not a good actor, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but I, 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 I just hope she's okay. So yes, I am obsessed with Seduced. Now, if you have not seen The Vow yet and you wanna save yourself five hours, just watch Seduced and you will probably get the majority of the story. And it's, a, honestly, it's more interesting and it's going a lot faster. However, it's a good companion piece with The Vow. If you enjoy The Vow, you will definitely enjoy Seduced. It just takes a deeper dive and it is now streaming on Stars every Sunday night. Also, quick fact, the director's name is Cecilia Peck. She is Gregory Peck's daughter, which I was like, oh, mind blown. It's so awesome, so happy for her. I love her dad, I love Gregory Peck. So Cecilia Peck, you are doing a great job and I highly enjoy your show, Seduced Inside the Nixium Cult, airing on Stars. This is Chad and until next time.
He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. 